Support KK's Closet. KK is a youth advocate in the DFW area. She provides clothes, money, shoes, underwear to these juveniles coming out of the juvenile detention center. Some of them have nothing. So instead of them falling back in those low self-esteem practices and taking things, stealing things, doing things illegally to feel better about themselves, her closet provides these things. So they do come home to something. You can donate by mailing items to her address in the description, or you can send her money. Her cash out will be in the description also. Support KK's Closet. Good woman, good initiative, good purpose, hell of a mission. Let's go. The racial divide amongst the people. What is it all about? Let's get into it. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. Thank you for joining your guy, SD Booker, with a toast to the men. Thanks for the support. Now, this topic appeared on my radar last night. And actually, uh, two weeks ago, I made a video about race relations, interracial dating, and the color line. I, I did upload it. I scrapped it. Well, I didn't scrap it. It's still in the repository, but I brought it down. Might put it back up. Not sure. But last night I was listening to uh, my guy, Immortal Minds. I was on his YouTube channel. And that link will be in the description. So you can check out the full video. And the topic was, is interracial relationships a cultural violation? Interesting topic. I think it was a discussion well needed. And uh, a lot of people tuned in to his live. And uh, he had a special guest on. Can't remember the uh, young lady's name. But uh, very articulate, very intelligent young lady. And uh, interesting viewpoints. Now, let's break this down. Is interracial relationships a cultural violation? And when they talk about relationships, they're talking about intimate uh, marriage. Now, let's deal with the word cultural. Cultural means a uh, community that shares the same identity, uh, beliefs, customs, or social behaviors. So, man, I guess, I guess I'm, I've violated several times because if you put me, if you say my culture is the black culture, black community, I don't, I don't get down with everything that people associate with the black community. You know, uh, I, I just don't get down uh, with everything. Now, uh, out of any other culture, yes, I have more uh, culture related to uh, the so-called African-American community than any other community. But, for instance, I don't, I don't do chitlins. I don't do pig feet. I like Italian food. I like sushi. Am I violating? Am I violating by going outside of my so-called culture and enjoying food from other cultures? Right? Um, if I go to a sports lounge or, or lounge, I like mixed crowds. Right? Um, so am I violating by not going to the hood? Is that a violation? So what, you know, it all depends how you define culture. But by definition, it is what I stated. Now, I say this. When you, my belief, when you mate with someone or you connect with someone or don't connect with someone or don't mate with someone based on skin color, based on race, Solely and primarily, I think you're doing yourself an injustice, um, a great injustice. Now, I think the first thing, the primary thing should be the mindset. The mindset and what do they add to your life? Where are you going? How do they fit in? And so... Um, 
I've seen so many people, man, on this pro, pro, super pro black thing where they only connect with black people and their mission fails. And their mission fails because, for one, they chose on skin color and race over mindsets and intellect and um, qualifications. They chose on race. They chose on emotion. That That is an emotional decision. That's not a logical decision. That's emotional. And see, I, I see these things fail, these missions, these pursuits fail over and over. They lack diversity. You gotta have different perspectives, people who are great in different things. And sometimes the person you need that's great in a certain discipline or has the knowledge you want in a certain thing it's not of your same skin color. It's not of your same race. And people just don't get it. You know, they don't get it. And and the mission fails, uh, goes down in flames. I see it over and over again. And uh, and what it is, man, when you do that, when you choose or, or choose not to connect with somebody based on skin color or race, that's low vibration. That's one of the lowest vibrations you can thrive on because it takes no deep diving, it takes no thought, it takes uh, no learning, no studying. It's obvious, my skin color is obvious, all right? My race is obvious most times. And so it's low vibration. At the end of the day, man, I've said this many times, when you strip everything, the superficial stuff, the covering, the skin color, the race, the titles, the money, everything, man. We're just mindsets. We're mindsets. We're mindsets uh, roaming. And that's who we should be trying to connect to. People of the same mindset. Uh, people who are going the same direction as you're going. Now, that doesn't mean there won't be any, any conflict, any resistance. But as long as you know this person wants what I want, and they're going in my direction, things can work out. I see so many people hooking up and marrying based on race and color, but they're not compatible. Uh, they have two different mindsets and uh, it just doesn't work. I see it in business, I see it in, in, um, in marriages, relationships, it doesn't work because the mindsets are different. And I think that's one of the biggest tests for us to conquer and to pass is can we get past this low vibration of race and skin color? You know, uh, there's a scripture. Uh, Thief comes but to steal, kill, and destroy that's the only reason the thief comes in. A lot of us are getting robbed. The thief is robbing us of opportunities, of knowledge and wisdom, of money, uh, of growth, because we won't get out of our own way. We won't renew our minds. We won't scrap what we were told, what we were taught, what we were raised on, think outside the box, but also within the box gotta exist both ways right and we're so stuck on this on this cultural thing when we should be focusing on mindsets do we share the same mindset are we going in the same direction that's that's what it's all about man well we're here for a purpose on a mission and if you get uh manipulated and distracted by race and skin color, man, you're behind. You're gonna lose. Um, you've missed so many opportunities. You know, each one of us, every every black person, every white person, every Hispanic, I go on and on, right? Every Asian, Hawaiian, whatever, right? Uh, has a different perspective. Each individual has a different perspective. Even my siblings who grew up in the same home, same neighborhood, 
we all have a different perspective of life. And that's all right. But was the one who's going to come out on top is the one who can learn, not judge, but learn from different perspectives. Not every single perspective, but because you don't know every person in the world, right? But the perspectives that come your way, you can learn from them. You can perceive yourself in that person and go, okay, that's that's not my track. That's not my role, but I can see. I can see how you feel like that. But yeah, yeah, but I can see and I can uh, show humility and uh, compassion and patience and love. But yeah, I'm still going this direction. Uh, or, wow, you know, we come from different backgrounds, different race, different skin color. Uh, yeah, we're headed in the same direction. We need to work together. Or we need to date. Or whatever, we need to get to know one another. The mindset, that's all that matters. Uh, a lot of us have been tricked. Been tricked, bamboozled, and held at a low vibration. Uh, but we'll say we love people, you know. But a lot of us will be in church every week, sometimes two, three times a week. And you can't even love your neighbor. But, you know, you say you love God, you say you love Jesus, which you've never seen, but you can't love your neighbor. That's the biggest hustle. That's the biggest trick. Uh, let's get off the low vibration. Let's get let's get off of it. And to work with someone that's heading in your direction doesn't mean you do everything alike. Um, Right? This whole cultural thing doesn't mean we eat the same food. We like the same food. Like, we like the same music. It doesn't mean that. It means we're both moving in righteousness and we're trying to pursue something for ourselves and for the people in love. And, uh, man, just yesterday, and I'll probably have her on one day, but just yesterday, I uh, met with on on the business tip um with the old classmate old friend and uh, she's doing her thing uh entrepreneur does big business very 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 big business can can set up nonprofits and LLCs with her eyes closed and she's a lesbian you know so called african american lesbian I'm a heterosexual married man. But who we are as far as sexual preference and how we identify ourselves, that's very low vibration when it compares to what we want to leave to the world what imprint we want to leave, what fingerprints we want to leave on this world before we leave. She and I connect because we're headed the same direction of being, we want to be legendary. We want to leave an imprint. We want to leave an impact, a positive impact. So she could easily say, well, I'm only dealing with my community. And I could easily say I'm only dealing with my community, right? But I miss out on so much and she misses out on so much because of that viewpoint of our differences, our cultural differences, our preferences. We miss out on so much. We miss out on what could be legendary and what could be great on the business tip. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's just, it's, it's, um, We've been tricked, man. We've been tricked. And you got to get out of your own way. Renew your mind. And like I said, hey, man, you ain't going to see me. And I, and I joked with her about this yesterday. I said, you, you'll never see me on nobody's float on Pride Day. I ain't doing that. But I work with that community. Uh, 
if it's about something I believe in and we can come together on, uh, yeah, I'll work with women also. If it's something I believe in, we can come together on and, you know, we'll agree on. But that has nothing to do with sexual preference, <laughs> right? You know, it's so much bigger uh, than, than sexual preference and skin color and race. It's some real work that needs to be done out here. And so, uh, yeah, that's just my take on it, man. I uh, I might upload that video I did two weeks ago. It was pretty long. And I went hard. I went raw, man. And uh, so I was like, mm, I don't know if the people are ready for this. This might need to be a discussion, a panel, where we do a deep dive. And I have different perspectives, talk about this, and we can go back and forth and trade, uh, trade stories and, and uh, perceptions. So, uh, yeah, this is what I got for you guys today. Just my take. But, yeah, that link to my guy, Immortal Minds, uh, live will, will be in the description. And uh, check that out, man. Very, very good and interesting discussion last night. Check that out. From me to you, always love. Peace.